Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. We are going in the chapter number 7 and in this video we will practice exercise number 4 that how to edit a profile with scripts. Usually we edit profile uh, with scripts and uh, profile creation tools because when we draw our design profile then we need to refine that with editing so before starting exercise number four kindly subscribe my youtube channel civil guru 04 and you can also like my facebook page land developer and architect designer here you can get a free pdf box about civil 3d land surveying and many other material like videos and slides for land surveying and AutoCAD Civil 3D. So let's start our exercise number four. As you learned in the chapter number five uh, that designing in 2D using alignments. It is common and often recommended to lay out a rough version of a design and then apply a series of refinements to achieve the final design. This is especially true with profiles because the first pass is usually an attempt to match existing grounds as closely as possible without creating too many uh, of your own bumps in the road. Why try to match existing ground? Quite simply, it's cheaper. The close your new road uh, match the existing terrain, the less earth will need to be removed uh, to construct it. The cost of move earth, moving earth is measured by uh, the volume of earth and uh, that is excavated so less digging equals less cost after creating uh, the initial profile that roughly match existing ground you must then refine the design based on various uh, factors such as performance requirements for the road avoiding overheads and underground obstacles and ensuring that rainwater will drain properly many times the adjustment you make are based not only on your own ideas but also on the inputs of other involved in the project. Whatever the case, a good set of tools for editing profiles is going to come in handy. Civil 3D provides a robust set of tools for editing profile graphically and numerically which we will experience in the uh, next some exercises so in this exercise number four how to edit a profile with grips you know in yet another respect profiles are similar to alignments in that they come equipped with specialized grip that enable editing to be done efficiently so we will use grips to edit the jordan court uh, design profile which we was done in the previous exercise number three take your notebook and write down all the steps to hands on practice this exercise later so it will be easy to follow the steps for you step number one open the drawing name graphical editing I have already opened that you can get that from the description like I always told you that if you did not get that kindly write down in the comment box I will provide you that personally so step number two click the blue Jordan coat FGCL if you don't know what is the FGCL for Jordan coat alignment when you hover your cursor it will tell you that which one is matching with your required name so it's the Jordan Court 
FGCL profile. We need to click there to show the grips for a profile. It's same as like uh, we have grips on a line match. So we can edit our profile using these grips. You will you will see in next steps. Now click on the triangle grip mark A1 circle and just click one time and then put this grip in the circle A2. So we are changing our profile from A1 to A2 uh, which is closer to the our natural ground surface. So in step number 3 at the circle marked B1 click the triangle grip on the right and uh, drag it to the center of the circle mark B. Step number 4 click the square grip at the center of circle C1. Here we have C1 and drag it to the circle of C2. Step number 5 click the circle circular grip located at the center of D1. Here we have circular grip. We have many types of grips here triangular grips, circular grips and uh, uh, square grips also they have different functions you know we already discussed that in our alignment uh, chapter number 5. So click on D1 and drag it to D2. This is an example uh, of moving the pass through grips forcing the curve to pass through a given point profile adjusting the long uh, the length of uh, the curve. So step number uh, 6 click the circular grip at the center of E E1 and move it to the center of the circle E2. This is an example of moving the end point of, uh, of the curve which also moves the start point to adjust the length of curve because before our length of curve what was here but now we have reduced that E1 to E2. Step number 7, 7 close the triangle. So you can see how can we edit a profile with grips very easily and nicely to do that efficiently. Hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification about new videos.